Philippine Air Force selects the Rafael Spider Air Defense System for its GBADS requirements. On Christmas Day, Max Defense posted a hint in its Facebook page on the Rafael Spider Air Defense System. As photos from one of our community members was shared to us as early as two weeks ago. We did not post the photos back then as we thought it was only one of the product endorsements made to the Philippine Air Force which is quite normal in the past several months. But addition confirmation from sources has finally been made available to us in that the Philippine Air Force has officially selected the Rafael Spider surface-to-air Python and Derby air defense system for its ground-based air defense system GBADS acquisition project. Apparently, the selection was already passed to the Department of National Defense DND, for negotiation and implementation of the procurement process vis-a-vis -vis their counterparts with the Israel Ministry of Defense, International Defense Cooperation Directorate, SIBAT, and Rafael Advanced Systems Limited. Ground-based air defense system and selection of Spider at as early as June 2013 or five and a half years ago. Max Defense reported that the Rafael Spider ads is already at the forefront of any GBADS acquisition plan of the Philippine Air Force. The blog post we made on this can be accessed on the link below. Israeli Spider Air Defense Missile System for the Philippines, a good choice, first published the 18th of June 2013 but several delays in the project implementation, including not being included in the finalized Horizon 1 phase, or even the approved second list of Horizon 1 phase, that the GBADS acquisition project was forced to be moved to the next Horizon 2 phase for implementation between 2018 to 2022. It was revealed to Max Defense by our defense and military sources that the PAF's Technical Working Group TWG, for the ground-based air defense system GBADS acquisition project has finally selected the Israeli-made Spider ads from Rafael Advanced Systems Limited. Max Defense was told that the selection by the PAF GBADSA PTWG was made just recently, and was supported and approved by the PAF leadership headed by then Philippine Air Force Commanding General Lt. General Galileo Gerard Quintana. Prior to this there were already several hints made by the PAF in recent weeks. First of during the preparations for the Christmas season, the PAF's newly formed unit to handle ground-based air defense systems the 960th Ground-Based Air Defense Group 960th GBADG showcased the Rafael Spider ads in their display, even including a life-size model of the missiles used by the said system, the Rafael Python 5 short-range and derby medium-range surface-to-air missiles, in their display. During the change of command ceremony of the Philippine Air Force last the 21st of December 2018 that resulted in Lt. Gen. Kintner's replacement by new CGPAF Lt. Gen. Rosanna Briguez just before Christmas. The outgoing CGPAF disclosed that the PAF will acquire 3 GBADS from Israel. It should be noted that only Rafael Spider Air Defense System was the only Israeli GBADS product offered to the PAF. While Lt. Gen. Kintner did not mention any specific model, it is obvious that he was pointing to the Rafael Spider ads. The Rafael Spider is said to be the PAF's favorite to win the selection process, as Rafael was among the first to offer a GBAD system even before they started the actual pre-procurement process. It was also said that the Spider ads could have been used as a basis for the project's technical specifications. While Max Defense previously reported several years ago that several DND and PAF officials already went to Israel to check on the system and the production in Israeli factories, the Spider was said to be competing with several other weapon systems from other countries, including Deal Defense's Iris TSL from Germany, Lignix 1 KM Sam from South Korea, the Bharat Dynamics Akash from India, among others. The Rafael Spider Air Defense System, Max Defense decided to recycle several parts of what we wrote back in June 2013 about the Spider ads. 
when it was first offered to the DND and AFP. Back then, strong interest was already shown by the Philippine side, and there were even talks that they are going to acquire the system. The Rafael Spider adds is a short to medium range air defense missile system based on the Israel Aircraft Industries IAI Python 5 short range dual wave band imaging infrared IIR air to air missile in the IAI Derby Beyond Visual Range BVR active radar air to air missiles and are fired from ground based launchers. There are two versions of the system the Spider Senior and Spider Mister. The Senior is a short-range system, while the Mister is a medium-range system. Both use the Python 5 and Derby missile from IAI. Although the Mister uses a booster system installed on the missiles to allow more flight range, as well as the system using a longer-range, more powerful radar. The Spider Senior has an intercept range of over 15 km while the Spider Mister has an intercept range of around 50 km at an altitude of over 16 km. The Spider Air Defense System at Battery Squadron is composed of a command and control unit which acts as the radar and communications unit, 4 to 6 launch vehicles, depending on size of battery and associated missile loaders, supply vehicles and other service vehicles. It was also confirmed by another MAX defense source based in Israel that the Spider ads for the Philippines will be using radars and command and control C2, systems from Israel's ELTA Systems Limited. The Spider Senior uses the ELTA L, M2106 Aider, a variant of which is already in service with the Philippine Air Force. While the Spider Mister uses the Alta L M2084 MMR 3D AESA medium range multi mission radar system. An advantage that Max Defense see in the selection of the Spider adds is that it uses the same IAI Python 5 and Derby missiles that can be used by fighter aircraft. This means that the compatibility, supply, and maintenance issues can be simplified between them. So why does it matter when the PAF doesn't operate the Python 5 and Derby missiles? The PAF appears to also be interested in using Python 5 and Derby missiles for its existing fleet of Chi FA-50 fighters, and even on future multi-role fighters as well. The FA-50 is said to be compatible with the Python 5 and Derby, and the newer iDerby extended range missiles and current upgrades being made on some of the F-A-50s will allow the use of both Israeli-made missiles. In addition to the upcoming AIM-9L, I-1 Sidewinder short-range IR air-to-air -air ordered by the PAF from Germany's Steel Defense through U.S. Foreign Military Sales FMS with Raytheon. Due to the SPYDER's capability and the Israelis' cooperation in providing the Philippines with the arms it needs, the best delivery date, and less political strings attached, there is no doubt that a deal for the Spider Mr. Ads will be taken easily by the government among its current users. It is worthwhile to note that Singapore's military uses the Spider Senior system as one of the cornerstones of its air defense capability. With Singapore's stringent defense product acceptance methods and consistent decisions in choosing the best military hardware out there, it is already a strong vote of confidence to the SPYDER's capabilities. Is PAF acquiring the Spider Senior or Spider Mister? Based on the information we gathered since 2013 until now, it appears that the PAF is actually interested in acquiring both the Spider Mister and Spider Senior for two different requirements, the GBADS short range and the GBADS medium range. In this case, Max Defense believes that the PAF could be going for the GBADS Mister. Here's why, in June 2013 or 66 months ago, when Max Defense first wrote about the planned acquisition of the Spider ads, the Philippine Air Force was already in the process of evaluating the different models offered to them. There was already a strong indication back then that a medium-range system would be preferred as the extra range could allow air defense units to defend at a longer standoff range. By mid-2016, 
Max Defense received confirmation from sources from the Philippine Air Force that the Spider Mister is already obviously leading in the PAFTWG's evaluation compared to competitors. Both the Spider Senior and Spider Mister were submitted by Rafael, and was in competition with different offers made including the Deal Defense Iris TSL and SLM, the Barrett Dynamics Akash, and the Raytheon MIM-23 Hawk-21. Based on this evaluation, the Spider Mister got the highest scoring despite Deal Defense's Iris TSLM closely edging the Spider Mister in terms of overall performance. Apparently, the Spider Mister was considered more cost-effective as its cost is far lower than the Iris TSLM, and the PAF would be allowed to acquire more systems with the budget that they have. Last the 22nd of October 2016, or more than 26 months ago, Max Defense got confirmation from sources involved in the project that the Philippine Air Force is prioritizing the acquisition of medium-range systems for its GBADS acquisition project. It was also mentioned that other systems like Russia's 9K37M1-2 Buck and South Korea's Lignix 1KM Sam Chul May 2 were also included in the evaluation. This means that despite Spider Mr. ranking first in the initial evaluation by the PAFTWG, it was again evaluated against new offers made. Inspections made by top brass officials from the DND and AFP included the Spider Mr. in their inspections. This includes not just the missile system, but also the radar system as seen on the photo below from November 2016 which includes former CSAFP's Gen. Visaya and Gen. Anyo, based on information Max Defense gathered as of mid-2017. The Spider Mister still edged out its competition based on both performance and pricing. The Russian buck, as expected, will have problems on compatibility and interoperability with existing and new systems of the Philippine Air Force and the AFP's overall C-4 ISTAR system, as it uses a different system. No mention was made on how the Spider Mister edged out the Korean KM Sam Chul May 2. It was also confirmed that the Department of National Defense DND, has already decided to go for a government-to-government -government, route for the PAF's GBADS acquisition project. Thus any decision of the PAFTWG and approved by the PAF senior leadership would require the DND to talk to the source's government. Another advantage is that Israel has an agreement with the Philippines that allows G2G acquisitions. Apparently, this is not available if the PAF chose the IRIS TSLM, which was considered the closest competitor, since the Philippines doesn't have a defense cooperation MO, MO with Germany that will allow G2G acquisitions. The same information still prevailed as of 2018, with the Philippine Air Force only waiting for funding to be provided for the project as the TWG was already decided on the Spider Mister early on. Negotiations with Israel's Ministry of Defense, SIBAT, and Rafael Advanced Systems Limited has been going on for several months now, as further adjustments were being made on the overall offer. Inclusions in Lady Luck had the pleas of our PAF Air Defense Boys and Girls, as it was revealed that the government has finally allocated enough budget worth PHP 6846750000 said to be good enough for three batteries as confirmed by a source who was previously involved in the project. Source, Max Defense. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.